video is organizing tips for your room. So make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button down below. Also, don't forget to hit that bell notification button so you get notified every time I upload and you don't miss any of my videos. So without further ado, let's get on with the video. Organizing tip number one. Do you have so much jewelry that gets so tangled because you don't have anywhere to put them and you just stuff them in a crowded space? All you have to do is get a separator. You can get them at Walmart, Target, the dollar store, and they come in all different shapes and sizes. And your jewelry is forever going to stay straight and not straggly. Also, you can put them in your bathroom for if you want to separate your hair ties and your headbands. It's so helpful. Organizing tip number two. Have you wandered your closet to find them? to try to find that perfect dress that has been in the back of your closet for so long. Now you know where to find that dress. If you just organize your closet. These are all of my school clothes and they're in one big section. And then it comes to all of my sweatshirts and my like, no, my lazy clothes. And then it goes to like my kind of dressy clothes, like out to dinner clothes. And then on the top here, I have all my fancy clothes. So I know where everything yeah. is. Number three. Do you never know where those awesome pair of high heels went because your closet is a disaster? Well, now you know. All you have to do is organize your shelves with the shoes that all match. So on my bottom shelf, I have all of my boots. And then on the second shelf, I have some of my dressy shoes. And then on the third shelf, I have more of my casual shoes. And then I have like our slippers and things like that. So that's how you can stay organized perfect. Organizing tip number four. Do you not know where that awesome book is that you've been reading because all of your books are just splattered everywhere on your bookshelf and it looks really weird. Now you can always find it. If you just scoot them and make sure there's a little space in between every one, then it looks so much neater and you can find your books way easier. Organizing tip number five. If all of your books are different sizes and some are paperback and some are hardcover, then follow this step. Organize all your books so you make sure that all of your hardcover are on the very top shelf, shelf or on the bottom shelf or in the middle shelf. And all of your like little books are in one big shelf so it looks not that weird if they're like all different Thank sizes. you so much for watching. If you learned a tip that helped your room stay organized, then give this video a big thumbs up. And I hope you did learn something. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye!